What is going on guys? Gray here today. Of course, we got an announcement from Zoss about the Pan Elsewhere event. This will be an event going on in the zones of Northern and Southern Elsewhere starting July the 22nd at 10 a.m. Eastern and running until August the 3rd at 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, to get started, all you have to do is uh, use the or do the introductory quest, a visit to Elsewhere from the in-game crown store. And of course, if you do not own Elsewhere or Dragonhold, uh, the base DLC and the collector's pack will both be on sale in the store for 50% off. Uh, what they're going to do with this event is kind of like a lot of the other events. If you are new to the game, you're going to have a chance to get a guaranteed, you know, drop every day of something. And you will also have a chance to get other uh, drops just by doing things within the zone. So when you complete certain activities in Northern or, or Southern elsewhere, you have a chance to receive a elsewhere coffer. These events include things like defeating dragons, defeating delve and world bosses, opening treasure chest, safe boxes, or thieves troves, opening psychic portals, uh, harvesting a harvest node, defeating a boss in Sunspire Trial, opening a dragon guard, sanctum supply cache, and looting monsters, or things like barrels, crates, all that kind of stuff. Uh, whenever you happen to receive a elsewhere coffer, you can expect to find things like crafting materials, style items from the styles found in Northern Elsewhere, uh, zone gear set items, treasure maps for Northern or Southern Elsewhere, uh, transmutation crystals, motif chapter style pages from Northern and Southern Elsewhere, and the new style page they're going to be adding in with this event. Also, it says even better for the first time you complete a daily quest in Northern or Southern Elsewhere each day, you will receive one glorious Elsewhere coffer, which has a guaranteed chance to either have a motif or the one of the new style pages they're adding in uh, with the uh, Pan Elsewhere event. Uh, some other things you can do or bonuses you can expect with this event is double reward boxes for all daily quests in both Northern and Southern Elsewhere, increased resource nodes that does not include fishing holes or crafting materials obtained from creatures, but your things like your ancestor silk, your ore and stuff, when you're out farming nodes in the zone, you'll have a chance to get double reward from it. Also, bonus loot from world bosses, delve bosses and dragons, and bonus loot from the boss and Sunspire trial, along with earning two coffers from the tri uh, trial's weekly quest. The event uh, vendor will be here as well, so we'll get, be able to get event tickets. We can get two event tickets per day. You get one event ticket from completing a quest in Northern Elsewhere and one event ticket from completing a quest in Southern Elsewhere. Uh, this will be like it always is. You cannot have more than 12. 12 is the cap. So if you have more than 12, you're going to lose your ticket. So make sure you don't do that. Also, the event timer will reset every day at 2 a.m. Eastern or each morning at 2 a.m. Eastern. Also, you can expect one new thing within the merchant this time. Of course, we're still going to have the unstable Morpholite base fragments, but we will also have uh, one fragment for the new uh, Griffin mount that's going to be added into the game with the upcoming events. Of course, it's going to be called the Smoke uh, Smoked Wreath Griffin Feather. So, if you're interested in getting this mount, then that will be the first time we can be able to get at least one fragment for it. Same as always, you want to make sure you have your Morpholite pet built and then make sure you purchase that uh, fragment as well because the rest of the fragments will be in the next event or probably the next couple upcoming events that we have in the future but now is the best time to go ahead and grab one of those pieces that way when the next events come up we'll be able to get them uh, easily and you won't have to worry about trying to grind it out and or, or worry about not being able to get it at all so make sure that you pick up that new smoked uh, griffin feather that will be available from the event vendor this time you will like i said only be able to get two tickets per day and that will be one ticket from doing a quest in each northern and southern elsewhere or a daily quest anyway guys i'm gonna let you know what was going on with this event uh, looks like it's gonna be a good time so i'm sure southern and northern elsewhere will be packed uh, once the event starts but leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so if you are a subscriber make sure you have notifications turned on and check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliate here on the channel empire jerky and i'll catch you all next time peace